And now on the outside into the new plasma corner. Oh my god, side by side with Piastri is still there. And now into the final corner, Piastri gets back in front. Straight away on the opening lap, you're seeing it to put a good effect there. Getting the run though again on the McLaren as we head down to turn one. For the very first time since 2006, F1 will return to the old penultimate corner, ditching the final chicane. The news was announced this morning. There was rumors of it already being in the process a couple of months ago, but today it finally got announced. Now this is gonna be, I think, a massive bit of news, very popular because the chicane was highly, highly unpopular with F1 fans. You know, it was put in there in 07 originally to improve racing. The idea to have a chicane to kind of slow the cars down and basically use the main straight to overtake, but it kind of had the opposite effect, the high curbs and just the general struggle of F1 cars lately in dirty air to follow has actually been more of a hindrance rather than, let's say, a favor. So hopefully we should see Obviously faster lap times, but hopefully better racing with the old original penultimate corner in place. Now with that said, as you can see, we are on the grid here for a race. Eight laps as Fernando Alonso in the Aston Martin, which you could argue might be in the fight for a win at this track once we arrive. And we're going to put the new layout to the test and see, combined with the new turn 10 from last year, if the layout is actually much better for racing. So let's jump into it. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. Leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Leave a comment as well, guys. I'm trying to push for 100K subs on the channel. Any help would be massively appreciated. And yeah, I'll leave the links down below to the car and the livery. But let's get into the action. Roll then, here we go. Back to the future in Barcelona. As we go back to the old layout. Lights are on. And they're out. Cars skating off the grid box as we Get an excellent launch off the line. Now look at that. Straight away up into P13. Now P12 as we power past multiple cars there off the start. We'll try and get a few more. A bit of an Alonso special here in Catalonia as we go around the outside of Nick De Vries, I believe. Or looking to go around the outside. Maybe into turn four. Not a lot of tyre grip, but we're making it work. Unable to go through though into turn five. We just have to be patient as we have a bit of a roadblock. Trying to get the traction down though. We might even have a look at the Alpine here. Oh, this is tight. Very, very tight. Gonna have to yield on that one. Wasn't confident touching the inside kerb. Through turn nine. Oh, a lot of grip struggling there. But understeer on the cold tyres. It's a turn 10. Not the actual turn 10, of course. We don't have that version of the game available, but the closest thing to it. But what we do have available is this, the penultimate corner. Got no tyre temp, but you can see just right there how we've managed to close up on the Alpine and actually it's worked out in our favour there quite nicely. Not quite looking that great for straight line speed purposes, but you can see how we could get better racing as the Alpine has challenged the Alfa Romeo out of nowhere into turn one, and they're still going at it. I'm trying to build up the tyre temp, so just being cautious. Great run through turn three, though. We might just have a chance here to have a look up the inside. Alpine runs in a bit deep. On a very tight angle though, tight line through there, which isn't going to help. Looking around the outside of five on Bottas, but no way through. Trying to mix it up here with the big boys. Of course, the Aston Martin should be competitive by the time we get to this race, so it should be able to mix it up with these lot. And dare I say, be faster and pull away. I think we can get Bottas here. Especially into turn one if we just now the final couple of corners. Nicely done through there. Smooth on the entry. Get the cut back, get the drive. And now down. Oh my goodness me, that was a, a bump and a half. Whew. Okay, we survived that little scare. And I think we're under pressure as we don't have DRS. So the Alpha Tauri of De Vries goes through. Oh no, it's actually Sonoda to be fair this time. Sonoda goes through and re-overtakes us. It's 
so we're going to have to try and get that one back. And we might do it straight away, you know. Oh my god, that was a snap. Ooh. Okay, this time we get through the bump. And look at that, look how close we get through there. That's a decent example of how the, the, uh, the non-chicane version could work and improve the racing. We're both challenging Bottas here into turn one. Oh my god, I'm not going to go for that. You can just see how Sonoda tried to attack the apex there. That was never going to work. Not in this game anyway. Turn three we go. Lovely line, lovely exit. And we're going to challenge Bottas here. Can't break late, otherwise we're going to run to the back of Sonoda, but bit of contact on the exit as we get the elbows out. Still trying to get by. Not able to find the traction though through there. This is a great scrap. AI, a lot of fun to battle here. Nice, nice, nice. So we set it up. Careful with the bump, straighten up the wheel. Oh, look how close we got through there. That's the one. Here we go, blasting past, putting the chicane to good use. And we're ahead of Valtteri. Make that P11, baby. Right then, let's get back after Sonoda and let's try and chase after those points. Just literally at half race distance, so plenty of time here to pull things back in. Got a great run on Sonoda here, to be fair. We go for the wider line and I'm going to Right to get the car back, but the back end again, they're just snapping on me. But the pack is staying intact here, staying together. There's a very similar pace across all the cars, so we're going to get action to the end here. Let's see if we can get a bit of a cleaner run through here. Yeah, that's nice, avoiding the bump. Hold it in sixth gear. Oh, a bit of understeer, but I'll tell you what, we've got a chance here to get Sonoda. We might get the Alpine as well, you know. Two for one. Alpine's still there. We've got the inside line, and this is ours. There we go. Two for one special. Happy days. Let's see how many more places we can climb. I can see Stroll there, my teammate. Obviously he has to he has to be a target to try and beat bit wide through five but we'll get away with that let's see if we can get a bit of a run we'll use a bit of engine mode to try and close the gap i'm struggling to nail this corner but if we can get it right i'd love to go for a move to turn 10 closing 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 up the inside bit of contact as we shove the house into the gravel but we're through. A bit wide at 11. But that's P8. Not my finest overtake, but you know what, we'll take it. And we'll get to enjoy the final two corners in clean air. Look at that. That is so satisfying. Two laps to go. Old science is a bit wide. He's followed Stroll in there. We've got an invitation. So go for the move. Come on, turn in. Make the corner. Not quite there. Sign stays in front for now. This is a great scrap. We'll stay with the action now to the end. Oh, I'll pick up some understeer there in dirty air. Not ideal. We won't put the move this time. We'll learn from what happened last lap. I'd love to get ahead of Stroll though. That's kind of the moving target here, really. Having said that, oh, we're so good into the final corner. Here we go then. Last lap of the race. Got to leave it all out there now to try and get these moves done. Through on signs. Can we get Stroll? You know what we're looking for. You know what's coming. The Alonso special on the last lap on our teammate. 
Can we get it? Stroll's limited by Russell, who's blocking him essentially. And we're going to have a stab at George out of nowhere. And I think we've got it, you know. Yes, we have. Oh, what a lap. Creeping into the top five. Is there any more action in this in the closing stages? Looking at Checo now. Not a bad exit through there. Oh, I've completely got my timing, my timing wrong there for the turning. And there as well. So we're not going to pick up anything else. But what a race. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. The track is so much different without that chicane. It just it feels so much quicker. Well, it gives me a great pleasure to say, chicane, you will not be missed. For the final time. For all time's sake. There we go. Goodbye, chicane. And there you have it. There is your lot, guys. A race around Spain. It took me a few attempts, to be honest with you, but we got there in the end. And yeah, I very much enjoyed it. And I think this is only a good thing for F1 and for the Spanish Grand Prix. So hopefully, you guys, enjoyed it. Link down below to the car and the livery. Like I said, the track is uh, actually not DLC, to be fair. This is actually part of a set of So I think it might be DLC that you have to pay for. So uh, go check the Steam page for that one. But yeah like subscribe it really helps me out guys leave a comment down below on your thoughts and yeah finally as always a big shout out to the channel members for supporting me as always guys check out the two videos on screen and i'll see you all in the next one until then guys take care and it's goodbye from me